Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon with No More Lines. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Leave a like and a comment and watch the video to the very end. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer installed games from Xbox Game Pass from, a, from one drive to another drive. So basically from a uh, hard drive to an external drive. So I'll give you some background. So Game Pass Ultimate, as you all know, um, includes PC as well and EA Play. And what that means is that you can play pretty much hundreds of uh, games on your PC. And you don't even have to have an Xbox to actually do it. Uh, it's completely, uh, completely separate from Xbox itself. All you need is just a membership. I made a video recently. I'm going to put it at the top. But I go over how you can get uh, one month of Game Pass Ultimate for um, less than $2. In a previous video, I tested it on a new account. And I verified that it worked on a new account. What I want to clarify is that I did test it on that same account that had Xbox Game Pass Ultimate before. And it does work on an uh, account that already had it. So it looks like it works on new and existing accounts. So what I want to uh, make the video about is that um, I mentioned in that video I made about the, the $2 Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. That uh, it's a good idea to install your games on an external hard drive so that way all you have to do is download the xbox app and then from there you'll be able to play the games on that other uh computer without having to re-download re and reinstall the games that's great if you don't have a lot of time uh you're on a meter connection where you get charged for data you don't want to have to reinstall and install things over and over again so um what you want to do first is that you want to basically go to the to a game and I think you see, but there are over 432 games. That's really awesome, to my, in my opinion, that there's so many games on here. But uh, basically what you have to do is you're going to go on your dashboard on the Xbox app. And then from there, you're going to see the installed section. And I, so I'll show you both ways. I'll show you uh, with a new game. So I'm going to install a Plague Tale Innocence. And I'm going to go to says install and include included with game pass and then from here you'll see that it ha it ha has three options one option says that you can install it to a folder my l drive is the uh my external hard drive and you see that two other options create desktop shortcut and and show these options on every game install i'm going to cl click that yes and i'm going to not click the desktop shortcut because i don't really want that but you're going to hit change here and you're going to see that there are a number of folders your c drive would be your main drive with your uh, windows operating system and then you can install it on another drive my l drive is going to be the drive i want to put it at but i want you to see that if i were to put it on on, on my uh on another drive i have an n drive what happens is that the n drive opens up and then from here i have to put it in, into a folder one thing that it won't let you do it won't let you install it to a root folder. And what I mean is that the N drive itself is the root drive of the of the hard drive itself. When I try doing that, it won't let me it won't let me install it. So when I say hit select folder, it won't actually work. And that's because it doesn't allow you to install it on a root drive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just create a folder called Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And then from here, I'm going to click that folder and then I'm going to actually select that folder. Then you see here that it does actually let me uh, do it. Now, you saw that I made that folder, but you, you can name it whatever you want to name it, to be honest with you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my external drive, my L drive, and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to hit install. And then from there, it's going to actually uh, download. Uh, download speeds are OK. I have a, a pretty fast Internet connection now. Uh, it's not like super, super slow, but it, it does take a little while. So I, I'd be kind of patient with this. And you see the game is 41 gigs. So you want to make sure that your external drive is big enough to actually carry it. And you see that we're installing the entire game. It's not a stream or anything like that. It's the entire game. So the last, the last thing I want to show you is that I'm going to show you how to move a, a inst installation from one folder to the other. Now, I'm, I'm not going to actually do it but I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically how we're going to do it is we're going to click on one of the games and you're going to see 
a triple dot option uh, here next to the play option and we're going to go to manage then from here you're going to see where it says general and files you're going to go to files and, and you're going, you're going to go to change drive then from here what you're going to do is that you're going to select the new drive that you want to change it to now it tells you how much disk space that, that you have to have and then from there, all you do is just click the new drive and hit move. Then what's going to happen is that it's going to move the entire installation from one drive to the other. All it's really doing is it's just moving the whole folder because I want to show you how it looks on the itself. Um, so on the uh, in my L drive, I want you to see that every single game, it actually puts a, f a, a folder for every game. And all it's going to do is just basically move the folder over to a new drive. So again, the reason why uh, I said this was a good idea is because if you want to play it on different computers or even play it on, on a friend's computer, you can just have all your, your Game Pass uh, Ultimate Library. You can log into that computer and then you can just have it all on the external drive versus you having to move everything and waste time. This would be good for... Um, situations where you're playing like tournament fighters and things like that i don't think there are too many tournament fighters on here besides uh there's there's dragon ball fighter z i think it's on here and maybe a couple other games but not very many tournament fighters are on here but again the point of it is just for for convenience and then from there once it moves it's going to move over and um i have a 5600 uh, rpm hard drive it plays it perfectly. I'm not, I don't have any issues with it. Um, but again, uh, you will need the Xbox app. You're going to log into the, your account and you have to have Game Pass Ultimate. Again, I made a video where I go over that you can get it for $2 a month. So uh, and you can actually get it for a really good price if you want to get a year or even six, six or three months. It's still a good price. Uh, I do it a month at a time. So that way I'm not committing to it too much and two dollars a month to me is nothing especially with all the games that, that you get i think you saw but there are 432 games for pc alone i think that's really awesome to be honest with you so yeah uh let me know what you think in the comment section and um lastly there are new games that come out which i do like so they actually do make new games and it looks like every month they do take games and they add games to it because I remember uh, yesterday on the uh, on June 30th, there were th 435 games. Now they're 432. So it looks like they, they like took off a few games. So yeah, uh, hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. You have a blessed day. You take care.